morning, everyone. My name is Vaishnavi. I've had the pleasure of working on a project that examines brain synchrony between children diagnosed with autism spectrum disorders and their parents. Although synchrony may seem like a foreign concept, it occurs in nearly all of our daily intimate social interactions. Imagine you're meeting some of your closest friends for coffee. As the conversation progresses, you put on your scientist hat and start noticing that you and your friends are all mimicking each other's facial expressions, body language, and voice pitch and tone. This is behavioral synchrony. In addition to copying behavior, if you measure your friend's brain activities right at this moment, which is known as hyperscanning, you would find that the signals match, indicating synchrony of your brain as well. This concept of synchronizing behavior and cognition can also be observed between parents and their children. Since children with autism spectrum disorders tend to have difficulty in forming and maintaining interpersonal relationships, we wanted to understand how synchronization of brain waves may differ between children with and children without autism spectrum disorders and their parents using a collaborative drawing application task. We had 12 parent children dyads play this drawing game on either independent or collaborative mode. In order to capture their brainwave data, they both wore caps with optodes in them, which captured brain activation data in an imaging method known as functional near-infrared spectroscopy, or FNIRS. To conclude my presentation, let me leave you with how this research may be used. Understanding how children with ASD socialize with their parents is crucial to suggesting biomarkers which can potentially improve ASD diagnosis. This research may also aid in the development of a brain-computer interface that improves current ASD therapies. Thank you all so much for your attention. If you want to learn more, please feel free to drop by poster two.